We are the body of Christ, who stretches inward and reaches outward. A body who grows, serves, and transforms lives through the love of Jesus Christ. For, for all of us uh, who do not know, can you tell us uh, who you are and how you're connected to Butcher Park? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I see a few faces that might not know me. Of course, when I came in this morning, some regular faces said, uh, do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a little skinny, uh, changed a little bit. But um, yeah, I, um, how did I come to find Mutual Park? Um, so I go to Central Baptist Church in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, I've been a member there for around three years. Um, they are connected with the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship. Um, and when I expressed to them my call to ministry, uh, they said, well, we, we want to get you involved somehow. Um, so they connected with me, uh, the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship and the Student Dot Church Program, which is their uh, uh, high school, college student, and seminarian program for uh, those who are discerning their call to ministry. So I said I would rather be in Kentucky somewhere um, during that summer um, interning. And so I got a call from Sarah, Pastor Sarah, um, and she was like, hey, um, we were a, like a smaller congregation in Louisville, um, and we'd be really excited to interview you and talk to you about interning with our congregation. Um, and at the time, I. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> um, I pulled up for the interview and I looked at this building and I was like, I, I don't know about this. <laughs> um, uh, what am I doing? But anyway, I, I came to this congregation. Um, you all chose me to be your intern. Um, and it was truly a blessing uh, to find this community. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go too far into that. Okay. I'll let you go ahead and ask okay. me the next question. So can you share with us how God brought you here and how that has impacted your spiritual journey? Absolutely. Um, well, that was the thing. I think when I was discerning my call to ministry, um, I think what I was looking forward to in this is not what I necessarily what I received. I was looking for some congregational ministry experience. Uh, and what I came to find was a temporary home, uh, which I, I still consider you all a home for me, uh, although I don't you know, attend here regularly. But <clears throat> this was the first time I had found a congregation that um, didn't, the labels and the identity uh, of which I identify, identify myself didn't matter. Um, you all loved me unconditionally, um, accepted me for who I was. Uh, and I think that God was bringing me to this place to learn a lot of lessons um, about what it means to be a Christian and what it means to love unconditionally. Um, and what better place to do that than Mutual Park. So... Can you share with us, um, you know, you spent some time here at Mutual Park. Can you tell us, like, what, what, what is God discerning or directing you to do as far as, like, your future? Where's God taking you now? Yeah. Um, I, I grew up in a Southern Baptist church. I'm going to go way back. Uh, I grew up in a Southern Baptist church plant. Um, and I always found myself questioning the narrative, uh, which is something that this church does quite often. Uh, gets in uncomfortable, messy situations theologically. We ask questions. Um, we're not afraid to get into the mess of it, get into the mud. Um, I attended a Southern Baptist church and they were not about asking questions. Uh, they were not interested in um, welcoming those of different identities. Um, sexual identities, gender identities, uh, and oftentimes people of a different race other than white um, or ethnicity. Um, 
it was not a very welcoming place for those who thought differently or were different in some kind of way. Um, and so, what, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We often did this during the internship. I want to my Jackson, like, hey, let's focus. We got something we're supposed to be doing here. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It came back my little brother. Um, so I was asking you, what is God discerning you to do now? What, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the goal? Okay. <laughs> now I know where I was going. <laughs> So um, I was uh, no longer able, when I decided to express my true self, my true identity, um, I was no longer able to uh, hold membership at the church that I grew up in. Um, and so when I found a new community, when I found uh, the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship, um, I was able to realize that there are a lot of other people out there like me um, who are often marginalized for their identities, um, especially in, in churches, which is the sad thing. Um, and people my age are increasingly leaving the church um, at a very high rate, mostly, I believe, because of that reason. So I have been discerning my call to ministry to be um, to follow Christ in loving people unconditionally, to make sure that there is a place for those of us who uh, don't identify with the majority. Um, at, I go to Central Baptist Church. I just, um, with the help of congregants, created a ministry there um, that is assisting LGBTQIA uh, folks who have uh, who have been hurt by the church. Um, mostly Baptist churches, Baptist congregations, um, because we are a Baptist church, so we work to get those people um, who 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 find themselves. Uh, kind of identifying with the Baptist tradition. Um, but we, we take people, we accept people from all walks of life to have conversations on what it means to be a Christian. Um, and that for so long, our churches have been gatekeeping, uh, saying who gets to come to the table. Uh, and I don't wanna preach a sermon, but I, <laughs> there, is no, there is no human on earth who can gatekeep uh, from God's love and God's grace and God's table. Um, God gives the, that to us graciously, and none of us have a right to take it away from anybody else because of something that we believe in particular. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm discerning kind of my call to, um, to go into a seminary, to find a seminary or a divinity school, um, and I want to work specifically with LGBTQIA folks. Awesome, awesome. Well, Jackson, thank you for your testimony. And uh, on behalf of Butchel Park, I say we love you, uh, we support you, and we appreciate everything that God is doing inside of you. We look forward to what God is going to do. Good Absolutely. job. Good job, Jackson. Thank you. Good job. We would love to have you, your friends, and your family participate in the life of our community. Join us as we participate with God in serving our neighbors through missions and ministries near and far. Come join us for Bible studies on Sundays and Thursdays. Subscribe to our emails in our newsletter mail out. Get involved in our amazing music ministries. Engage your family in our wonderful youth and children's programs.